Imagine a browser that organizes your entire workflow automatically, no tabs, no chaos, no distractions. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another AI video. Today we're diving into Neo, the first safe AI native browser built for modern productivity. Now most browsers leave you drowning in tabs, constantly jumping between sites, and have you flat out losing your focus. But Neo flips that whole standard on its head. Neo summarizes, organizes, and acts without you ever leaving the page. To try this out for yourself, head on over to neobrowser.ai. The link's gonna be in the description as always. Go ahead and pick your operating system. I am on Windows, so I'm gonna click right here. Go ahead and download and launch Neo totally free by the way, and you're gonna land right on the Neo dashboard. Now this is the main dashboard that we're gonna work with today. It is super clean. Now, if you come on over to the top left, we can click right here on expand, and this is gonna open up the workspace. Let's go ahead and close this for now. We also have a few widgets as well, including weather, forecast, time, date, and our location as well. This is also where we're gonna jump into what's called the magic box. And this is one of my favorite features with Neo. Instead of spending countless hours reading long articles, or digging through endless content, you just go ahead and type what you need and Neo summarizes everything instantly. For example, I'm just gonna come on over to the magic box and I'm gonna ask this question right here. I wanna know what are the top five graphics cards on the market right now? So I can either choose chat or I can choose search. Now search is gonna be like a standard browser search. So I'm gonna come on over to chat. Let's click right here. Now by choosing the chat option, you'll immediately see this is essentially a large language model like ChatGPT baked into the browser. Now I have a nice list here with sources that I can branch off into. For example, let's come over to the second one. Let's click right here. I'm gonna hit right click and I'm gonna open this into a new tab. So this goes ahead and takes me to a text spot article based on what I'm looking up here. Let's come back over to the previous page by clicking up here. And again, I have a nice concise list here that's super easy to work with. And I also have a nice follow up recommendation as well. So Neo is letting me know that if I would like to, I can sort these by price, power draw, or best choice for gaming versus content creation and give current price links. And I can see a few top sources as well. So I can hover my mouse over and you can see when I do that, there is a little eyeball icon that pops up as well. Now this is called peak. Let's go ahead and click right here. So when you click on peak, it goes ahead and gives you a preview of the site without actually opening an additional tab. So this is a super nice way to see what this article is all about, again, without actually having to open it. So let's go ahead and click on the X button at the very top here. Now let's come on over to the top left. I'm gonna open up a new tab at the very top and I have a new inquiry ready to go. So here's my inquiry. It reads, what's new in Premiere Pro? This time I'm gonna come down to the bottom right and click on submit. Let's go ahead and do that. Now when I hit submit, this is gonna operate like a more traditional web browser. So this should be looking a lot more familiar this time. However, if I go ahead and hover my mouse over the link, let's go ahead and do that. It's gonna open up this tiny little icon. Let's go ahead and hover our mouse over that as well. And then I have two options to choose from. So I have peak and I have summarize. So I did show the peak option before. Let's have a quick look at that again. Let's click right here. And again, this is gonna open up that preview of this particular website. So I can go ahead and browse through here and get a quick preview without actually opening up a new tab. This is gonna be very useful without getting carried away with all those different tabs. Let's go ahead and close this for now. All right, I'm just back on the main page. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit here. I'm gonna come over to this link right here. Let's hover our mouse over. Again, we're gonna click that tiny little icon. This time I'm gonna click on summary. Let's go ahead and do that right now. You're gonna see this is gonna open up a little chat box on the right hand side. And this is gonna go ahead and summarize the page in real time. So I can easily summarize what this is all about here. So we can see that this is about Premiere Pro 25.5 update where it adds 90 plus effects. So we've got playback, timeline, encoding, acceleration have arrived. And there is a film impact library that integrates transitions and presets as well. So this is a nice little concise summary without actually having to open up the page in question. You don't have to get too carried away with opening up a million tabs. You can just go ahead and either peek or summarize the page in real time. The next feature in Neo I wanna show you is tab grouping. Now, if you look at the very top of the browser, 
I've gone ahead and accumulated a bunch of tabs on purpose because I wanna show this feature. So as you can see, there are a bunch of different tabs. If I come over to the top right, I'm gonna click on Smart Tab Grouping. So I'm gonna turn this on by clicking right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Now that is going to immediately group my tabs based into categories, relevant categories. So let's just hover my mouse over here. So we've got a search category. So this is what I searched previously. We've got technology, so a few in technology. We've got my email, we've got planning. I have my Google Calendar open. We've got entertainment as well, so I had YouTube open as well. And then we have Neo as well as the last one, so a few Neo dedicated searches as well. So you can imagine once you get carried away with your workday, this feature is gonna come in handy with keeping everything organized. Now at any point in time, you can come on over to the right-hand side and click on Neo Chat. So just clicking this button right here, and it's gonna go ahead and open up this chat box. Now I can ask NeoChat anything, whether that means summarizing a specific web page that I'm on, so in terms of Neo being context aware, or I wanna learn more about Neo's capabilities. For example, I can just click on this one right here. What types of content can Neo Browser summarize? Let's go ahead and click that. And right away, this lets me know that Neo Browser can summarize web pages and online articles. So news, blogs, research, PDFs, and other uploaded documents, even YouTube videos, link previews, uploaded images, and live web content or search results for real-time pages. Now, another great feature is the personalized insights feed. So if I click this link at the very bottom here, let's go ahead and do that. This is gonna open up my personalized insight feed. Because of the way that I've been previously interacting with the browser, it's gonna go ahead and recommend different pages and categories based on how I'm showing Neo my interests. We can see we've got all, we've got gaming, we've got news, We've got technology as well. Now keep in mind, if we come over to the top left and click on technology, we did a couple of different searches based on the new Premiere Pro update and the best graphics cards as well. So this gives my personal feed an idea of the kind of browsing that I'm interested in so far. I also wanna highlight a few quick mentions as well. Norton Neo also offers Gmail and calendar integration to help you stay connected, smart reminders to keep you on track, a tabless distraction-free experience built entirely around your workflow, and of course, everything is secure and private by design because it's powered by Norton. So just some quick final thoughts. Neo isn't just a browser, it's your AI-powered workspace. It's smarter, safer, and simpler. You can try it for free at neobrowser.ai. Of course, the link is gonna be in the description as always. And be sure to join the Neo Discord community so you can skip the line. With all of that, good luck with your browsing.